in vivo. Right. Come on, I'm gonna check the stream and see if everything good. Oh, we're going to the shop. Done. Huh? Is your job done? Oh, it's on. It's on. Good. Done. Done. All right. All right. Well, like I say, shalom. Glad to give up praises, honor, and glory to your power. Hashem, 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 Hakadosh. Blessed the apostles and lovers of great mercy and very well. Peace and blessing to the acrimony while I push this through to the four corners of the earth. All right. That's just so I care for the, um, the little voice. <coughs> you know, why is a good track video talking about um, Baal worship? Because there's something, idol worship on the whole is something that our people have been into, in this, especially in this kingdom. Like this kingdom is the worst when it comes to idol worship because it surpasses all the rest before it. Because it takes all the customs from all the other different um, civilizations a lot of different time frames and bring it into one, right? So in these days, you'll see it have more idol worship in society today than it ever had in the past. Right? Anything to say? Or uh, could you say what you want to say? Run the video. And everyone else. And they lift Man. away the booze. These people. Hey. Hey, and we have now we know hearing you. Alright, yeah, madam. Can can. I thought this is I'm just playing for any food. Only only. Where the video from? Nah, we ain't any video, you know. You know that he saw me sitting around, you know, he ain't what is, he ain't what the truth to come out. That's all. Let me follow him. We see commentators, of his and I would not like players. to see their hard drives, that's all I'm saying. And he will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. He will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone with any sort of biblical understanding or understanding of the spiritual the world knows that they are referring to Lucifer, ladies and gentlemen. And this is tab. worship of fallen angels going on right in front of your face. You might not believe so in the devil, but trust me, they do it to BBC. The demos, okay? This is basically a trailer for him coming into the world. People that don't think we're living near the end times, have you seen what I'm seeing? Bro, this Andrew guy is trying to convince you that a giant red satanic bull bleeding from the eyes is a symbol of love. On, like, on a, on, on a level. No, there were a lot of things that went off in, like, before an angel's concept and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> but we as, as you can see this is something that has been more in society today idol worship <clears throat> right baal worship which is something israel also getting trouble for a lot a lot in the past israel was always getting in trouble for some kind of baal worship some kind of hidden worship and scriptures say what there's no new thing under the sun and scriptures will bring up before i go into article Go ahead. Alright. Mom. Um, I'm going to bring out the article. Um, I'm going to put it up on the screen. Entire screen. 
Alright, so I'll share the entire screen. Alright. We'll go to the article here. I'll read it right. It's a adad, right? Um it's a pronounced as adad or a skur was the storm and rain god in the Canaanite and ancient Mesopotamian religions, right? It say he was attested in in Ebla as Ada, say in um in two in twenty five hundred BCE. It said from the Levant, Ada was pronounced to Mesopotamia, was introduced to was introduced to Mesopotamia by the Amorites. Right, so there's an Amorite, an Amorite deity. Now, when you see in, in um, the way um, Joshua was talking about the, um, the God of the Amorites and so forth, right, this is one of the one of the gods that Israel used to like to go home after. They say where he became known as Akkadian, um, Assyrian Babylonian God Adad, right? And we'll go to the main point here. <laughs> See, Adad was also called um, Dar, right? Baal Zephon, or often simply Baal, which is Lord. But when you look at like um, like so many translations in Hebrew, Baal it means Lord. You see, but this title was also used for other gods. You see, the bull was the symbolic animal. Of Adar, and that's what you see here. When I go to the video, the video have what is a bull worshiping, right? So that that is what things like that is go back to bull worship. That is that that deity per se, right? Right. Um. You see, he appeared bearded, often holding a club and thunderbolts, while wearing a bull horn. Headdress, and we all we all know that kind of thunderbolts. That that is that kind of that kind of Zeus thing that they do the um with the, the Greek gods and so forth. You know, so you see how how these gods is be a combination of different things as time go by. It has make changes to them and so forth. You know, and try to in and try to graft them into to like their belief. Now you see like the Greek gods and the Roman gods is it has the same origin, but it has like differences to them. Right, and we're getting a picture here. I'm gonna try to blow it up big so you can see it. Um, I'm trying to blow it up big. This, this whole you know, there's the um, there's the, the so called deity here, right? It's a god of weather, hurricanes, storms, thunder, and rain. But yet, yet right now, Babylon being plagued with all these different things. So why do they call on this God to be able to deliver them from these particular disasters? Can. You understand? Can. All right, precepts? Can. Okay. In the book of um, Judges, chapter 10, verse or chapter 12, it says, the Zidonians also, and the Amalekites, and the Mayanites, did oppress you. And he cried to me, and I delivered you out of their hand. He have, yet he have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Right? So as as the brother was saying, you know, it have a lot of Israelites that but obviously we know that has continued to deal in idol worship. And you know, you fast for a couple of months back. Right with this poison, all these so-called Christians and and die-hard Muslims, they, they forsook their 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 idols, and they went to the the true God, which is the so-called white man, to receive that 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 dose. You understand? So the, the, these people, they, it's, it's like it's a gimmick. So when when shit really gets tough, they just always just run back to the to the so-called white man. So Musa is saying here, yeah, go and pray unto unto your gods because. In these last days, right? If you really the most I control good and evil. So he's the one that will make it seem as if hey, you do this you do this miracle in the name of Jesus. So you do this 
miracle in the name of Allah is the Lord controlling that side. So when the Lord lock off that power and they calling on these names and they're doing the rituals and nothing happening, you understand they're gonna they're gonna be left seeking some form of help. But only the elect would have help, which comes from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, it shows, you know, you know, Israel, you know, Israel gone. You know, Israel always, they always occupying itself in, in, in evil. You know, as when the Lord, you know, he delivered we out of Egypt, you know, and he tell we go and destroy the seven nations who, who was in the land. He said, don't learn nothing from them. Don't take up the custom. Right, they're, they're, they're defiling them with all these abominable stuff, and guess what? Israel rebellious as hell, despite all what the Heavenly Father do. What they went on to idol worship, to worship the same beast. Right, as scripture says in Jeremiah 2, verse 11, he said, Had a nation changed their God, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which do it not profit. These things are going to profit Israel. These things that's gonna bring bring you in this low state. This is gonna make you get whipped. This make gonna make you get destroyed. It's not gonna profit you. You're not gonna prosper. You're not gonna rise by doing evil. The scripture says there is nothing good to come to he that is always occupied in evil, right? And these were Israel choose. You know, the, the, the two thirds of uh, all people they were the true. They choose death rather than life. The choose to worship these things. You know, and a lot of our people, you know, in these in these religions that worship these images. Right? Yeah, you talk to you know hey, some of these hey, jakes that in Islam, you know, where you know hey, this moon and the, the star and all where these things symbolize, where these things come from. You know, you ask them, you know, hey, was 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 Muhammad. A just man? Was he a righteous man? Then why he take, if he was a righteous man, then why he take customs at these pagan Arabs, right? And join it into his religion and 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 and, and worshiping these things too. So he's not a just man. Because a just man goes back to one that uphold the law, that keep the law. And part of the law is thou shalt make no graven image, worship no other gods. So you see, he's not just man. He's not a righteous man. He's men wicked as hell. Go ahead. Up. He, he, he's not of Israel to start with. And the only way you can be a just man is to be of Israel. <laughs> you understand? So he's a, he's a, once he's a heathen, that is it. You don't have a just, you don't have a righteous man, nothing like that for you because you you outside the temple. And for the things that we are talking about just now with the, um, with the moon and the star, look at that, that something here. Right? They say um, Baal Hadad, right? Which is one of the, um, the versions of the Baal worship. It's a symbol of crescent moon and pagan worship symbol. But you'll see a lot of um, different beliefs and doctrines that um, have that same, that, same, um, that same symbol, the crescent moon and star. I have our next picture here. And gain more ideas of it when you look at back to Egyptology and those kind of stuff, right? You see, all I see that, see what Done. right? Done. When you go back all to, the, all to the Egyptology and so forth, you'll see this is this is what they used to do. When I watch, when I watch the hats, when the way is the crescent moon and the, the disc inside it, which represents the star, right? And that represents what that represents, um, that was a former, um. Uh, ancient sex worship because then the the, um, the crescent moon represents a woman's legs and the star coming out represents she giving birth. So that was that was one form of sex worship they used to do, and the other one was the um the other one was the the, uh, the Egyptian obelisk, the pillar, which represents a phallus or a man's penis. You understand? So you see how many different um societies in the past that adopt these same different things. But like I said, it's slight changes to them, right? What, so the, the version we go know today is like Baal worship and so forth, but it had other denominations of it in the past. 
that other that other um other other nations used to follow in their own way. Papa, I'll be so quick. Good. Let's say um let's say like Jeremiah eleven. I'll start from verse verse twelve, right? Let's say then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry. Let's say go uh, and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. They say but but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. You see, for according to the number of thy cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars to that shameful thing. You see, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Right? And it was the same when it was in the wilderness also. When it was in the wilderness and they went and um, I think it's when the Moabites were men, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, like Numbers 25. You understand when they, when, when they went and worship, uh, um, Baal worship around that time too. This was something Israel often used to be doing. Right? And there's no new thing under the sun. Even today they're doing it in different ways. Sometimes you go even ask a Jake. I remember asking a Jake woman. Like she was, it was um Diwali. I think it was some about a year or two back. It was Diwali around that time, and I was asking she because she just up in the um the kind of the, the Hindu clothes and the little thing on she foreign all them shippingness. And I asked her, I say, so why it is you doing that? I know the answer she gave me because it's fun. You understand my head like what kind of can't fuck it? <laughs> that is that is the level of retardation. We people reach to doing doing hedonistic practices because it's fun, you know, because it looked like some because everybody do that interesting, not knowing that this is the this is one of the main reasons why the rather the most high coming on them in the first place. You understand? Precept here. Yeah. Yeah. There's Mark seven. I go you know talk about it. There's Mark seven. Start at verse twenty one. He say for from within, out of the heart. If we know your heart goes back to your mind, right? He says so. For from within, out of the heart of man, of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murders, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evils commit from within and defile a man. Oh. Right, so that, so we 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 will look at, at, at as fun. Oh. That is wickedness, oh. right? We all let us all let us think upon, you know, and call it good. As people say, you know, they, they call evil good, and 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 good evil, and you don't see that any minds are jakes. You don't see that any minds are jakes today. The thoughts wicked. Evil, evil practices, we are doing as fun as as traditions, and there's a reason why the Lord say, "Learn not their ways, learn not the ways of the heathen, because the ways of the heathen is vanity. It's gonna lead you to destruction. It's gonna lead you to hey, to die. These things are profit. There are no profit in it, as you know, as as, as you're reading um in Jeremiah." Right, the time's gonna come that hey, they're gonna they're gonna call upon the gods and they're, they're not gonna get here no answer. Right, because scripture saying Jeremiah sixteen twenty, shall a man make gods unto himself, and they are no gods. These gods they can't see, they can't hear. There are no feelings. They can't put wanted death. They can't give you riches. Right, they do it, they do it, they do it. Israel like to wish rather than the, the, the power who give them life, who deliver them out of bondage numerous at times, um, who deliver them from war numerous at times. The Lord was with Israel. Um, Go ahead, book of Revelation, chapter 21, the seven is He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be His power, and He shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers 
and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burn it with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, which is that second death is referring to that, that term on nuclear destruction, the laser beams from the chariots of our Lord, the, the second coming of Yahweh Shai. Right? Because in the first say the Lord he judged the earth by way of water, right? By way of the flood. And you realize in that in that whole situation, a remnant was delivered, which was Noah, his sons and, and their wives, right? And it was delivered through through the ark. And the remainder of people was put to death. They were they drowned. So in these times, you know, hey, you people are gonna be drowning in fire, right? And and, and the ones that are gonna be delivered is the elect, and that ark that are gonna deliver them is Yahweh Shai. You understand by way of the, the chariots. We realize it's see the idolaters and the whoremongers and the sorcerers, the liars, they will have their part in the lake. Yeah. Right? So all these things that they're doing, they 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 building up gods and, and you know they're worshiping gods and they think they're gonna continue to go like that forever. The Lord have a, 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 a time that he appointed for their destruction. Right? And so like you might think about you might see them worshiping these idols and say, Well, you see, look, look, nothing that happened to them. Or they might they might say that themselves. If it was so wrong, I'd be punished. You read that in Ecclesiastes um sentence against our evil work is not executed speedily. And the same way the Lord he building up all the, the, the labor of love that the righteous had shown unto him, and he's gonna reward them with a great reward in the end. All the ways of the wicked and all the, the, the deeds of the wicked, he that building up too. So he could get them a, a mass destruction in the end. And I that, that balance. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of people in the field that you know. Hey. And that and you know, when you when you look at it, you know, it is deceive people so much that you know they they just they just feel that you know the, the wicked, you know, he prospering, you know, and living it up, you know. But when they do righteous, you know, they ain't they ain't living like that. You know, but not knowing that hey, the Lord still them up for some great things he have for them. Hmm. Right. These are go ahead. The scriptures talk about when they say uh when they say the iniquity of the Amorites who will not will not fulfill yet. You understand? And that technically what is happening now. The Lord, the Lord given them time for their iniquity to be fulfilled. Then for him to come and rain judgment onto them. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yet. Yeah, but if they say you're gonna burn you're gonna burn the idols with fire. Hmm. Right? And there is a show, you know, the definition and the enchantment, the so-called white man does use the devil, you know, to have jakes, you know, to have these people, you know, believing that, you know, that riches come from these gods, these idols, that prosperity come from these idols, that is heavy sorcery, and that is, that is where the so-called white man is about, you know, that all you're worshipping these things, like these things are going to profit all you, these things are not going to profit all you in the end. Right, the Lord not gonna regard all your silver, all your gold, or wherever. All you're gonna die. Right, when you read Isaiah 8, on the last two verse, you can get it from a Baba Kasha. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 21 and they shall pass through it hardly bestead and hungry and shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their God and look upward and they shall look unto the earth and behold trouble and darkness dimness of anguish and they shall be driven to darkness yeah, because they see the Lord, hey, the Lord preparing a hey, famine right now, right? They're gonna be, they're gonna be hungry. The land are hey, producing, you know, hey, hey the Lord, a hey, sending the locusts to distress them, right? And they were, hey, when they start, you know, hey, become hungry, and these things they're gonna fret themselves, but they're gonna realize that you know hey, they're calling upon the gods and hey, not happening. They see them, you know, the government. You know, in business, bowden the, the 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 king, 
right? Who the who the who the cast the vote for, right? And I digested it. They have no they have no king but Caesar, mm. right? And they're gonna show you these Caesars. They may care about all you. Government are gonna care about all you. They're gonna take away the the the, the grant, the 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 little um food granted as give all you. All these things gonna be cut off. Everyone. And there's the judgment of Yahweh Basham Yashai. Right? For all the wicked thoughts, you know, with, 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 with Jake's mind, with the thinking, right? Yeah, you're going to fail. The trust in our broken reed. Right? There's um, in Isaiah 44, verse 9. He said, They that make a graven image are all of them vanity. And their delectable thing shall not profit. All these things they worship, all these images, the bull, everything, the moon, the star, the host of heaven, all these things they worship is vanity. Right? And it shall not profit. And they are their own witnesses. They shall not nor know that they may be ashamed who had formed a God for molten a grave image that is profitable for nothing. And they were these things is for profitable for that thing. You waste our time. You waste your you waste your sweat, you waste your labor. Right? The carpenter, the workman, he waste his labor. Day. Waste material. Yeah, waste, waste material. <laughs> and scripture say, and scripture say um wisdom, wisdom of Solomon 14. Okay, Solomon 14. 14 verse 14 verse 8. He said, But that which is made with hands is curse as well it as he that made it. Right? Because he made it and it be and and because being corruptible it was called God. All these things, all these idols. But they say no, they 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 is God, you know. And we people so so blind, right? They say is is the same God, is the same one God, right? No, it's not the same. It's not the same one God. The scripture say in Micah four verse five, all people will walk in the name after their own power, but Israel will walk in the in the in the name after their power. God who created the heavens and the earth. So it's not the same God. Right, Vishnu, Hanuman, you know, or, or, or Selassie, or Allah, all these, it's, not the, it's not the same, it's not the same God. It's not. You know what the so called white man use, you know, divination, real enchantments, you know, how you hey, believe in that, you know, hey, yeah. it's the same. Doesn't matter who you, who you worship, you know, it's the, it's the same one God. You know, you just go by a different name. No. The Lord have one name, and his name is Yahweh. He to be, he exists. Right? We in the image of our power, the Heavenly Father. We not in the image of no, no beast. We weren't created in the image of no beast or no idols. If we were created in the image of beasts, why we do not possess horns or tusks or trunks? No, we in the image of the living power. You how about Shami or Shai? Go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 96, verse 4. It says, For the Lord, you now start at verse 2, it says, Sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. So it's saying here to, to bless the Lord's name. So how could you possibly bless our name if you don't know it? Right, if we street say de de declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among the among all people, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Right? So as but I was saying, you know, they say it's one God, but it is not. Because it's saying here he is to be feared above all gods. And the gods that is being referred to here is his common G, is the gods of the, the, the nations. Verse five it says, For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Because that is, that is the difference between Yahweh, Shemeh, Oshai, and these other gods. These other gods were created by men. 
but our father created us. You understand? They 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 forge their gods with wood and stone, and they name their gods and they give their gods gender and personality and and, and certain strengths, whatever the case is. But it's not so without with our power. Yeah, how Hashem Yahushai came first. If he forged us and he gave us gender and he gave us um power and he, he gave us different, you know, um personalities and strengths and all the, all the all these things. We are the creation of the heavenly father. But their gods, they great the scriptures say that they themselves greater than the, the things that they created. Because they actually are alive. You understand? Their gods don't have no life. Yeah. Happy sir. Huh. And this is what the brother just say. And when they go back to the term God, it, 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 it refers to idols, but it also means judges or rulers. And why scriptures say, well, the gods of this world have blinded the eyes of them that believe not. Because Esau come at Esau is the God of this world. You understand? And it'd be the same way to have people who just worship the idol, the idol statue version of gods, there's also worship Esau as a, as a type of God also, as the, the judge of this world. As if he is is their god, right? When <laughs> very untrue. The answer just say what I say. As much, as many have received benefits in this life and have not known me, as the brother say. They will receive money, and they will always give the praise idol to Esau. They will give it onto like the idols, like the statues and so forth, not knowing that the Lord say what is he that make it a man rich or make it him poor. Right? They've always given the Lord's honor to somebody else. Right? Um, you look at the cusp 18, I'll read from verse 24, right? It said, If I not ye yourselves in any of these things, for in all these the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. It said, And the land is defiled, therefore I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it. And the land itself vomit out the inhabitants. Right? They say in verse 26, they say, Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation, nor any stranger that sojourneth among you. For all these abominations have the men of the land done. Which will be for you, and the land is defiled. And you'll see that happen in many different places. Even in the um in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, what they do, they will defile that land and the Lord wipe it out. Right? Okay. And the same thing going to happen soon in Mystery Babylon and all these other cities round about, likewise. <laughs> you understand? They defile yeah. the land and the Lord gonna do the same thing, gonna wipe them out. Hey, is history going to repeat itself? Yeah. You know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cycle. You know? And it's going to, it's going to happen again. The Lord going the Lord going to speed them out. Right? The Lord going to get them out. Right? There's, um... Is there... Six, six, uh... Isaiah 66 verse 15 he said for behold the Lord will come with fire and with his chariot like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the Lord feed with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah. Right? They will the Lord gonna come. The Lord gonna come and destroy the wicked. He's gonna come and destroy the gods. All the idols gonna burn. All the idols gonna melt. Just as just as the men who made them. They're gonna melt, and the idols gonna melt. Yeah. Right? You know, and it is and the idols can give them. <laughs> can, yeah. You know, and it's to show you these the God, the gods of the nations are idols. What was um I think it was Elijah. 
when Elijah say, you know, you to call upon all your gods, you know, you take the altar, you know, the call until morning, till evening. Elijah said, you know, he mock them, call harder. He must be on a long journey, okay. right? There is what they're going to see, you know, okay. as the brother read it in Isaiah 8. When these evils come, they're going to call upon the God and they're not going to hear no answer. Okay. And we Elijah do, we say, bring them before me and slay them. All you idol worshippers, you're all going to be slain. We say, the back of the body, but I was saying, they are basically saying, oh, this girl, he saw the so called white man is, is a god in himself. You understand? These people watch him to be their god, right? They Isaiah 14, verse 13, it says, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Right. So the so-called white man think to himself that hey, he, he is above the Most High. He, he, he's above above the, the, the things that the Lord set. Right, that he he is greater than, and you could see that. That is why they always operating. I uh, see um, a a post our brother did send where they they take a pig's heart, and you know they surgically implant it into a human body, right? And then I saw another article which where they do the same thing. I believe it to be a kidney or a liver or something like that, and that man end up dying, right? So he sort of he, he's be doing doing all these manner of, of abominable things trying to mix breed animals, you know, all, all, all kind of thing he's be doing because he want to say, well, hey, if the Lord could create, I could create too, right? I could be, I could be like the Moses and, and be greater. But the scripture saying here, he will be brought down to hell to, to the size of the pit. So the more he, he exalts himself is the, the lower he would, he would be in the end, you know? And these are the things the Lord hate, you know, he cried. You know, they, uh, they will be there at one verse, verse three. He said, the pride of thine heart had deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Right? They, they don't pro, they don't pro these soils. Yeah. You know? He feel that way he can hide behind the military, that he had nuclear weapons. That the Lord nukes, so the Lord created that. Right? And Within the world, the works are their own hands. They're going to get destroyed by it. By the same thing. Right? So the pride. You know, you want to be like the most high. Yeah, you so, you, you, so, you so big and bad that nobody could touch you. Nobody could touch America. The, the big apple. The Lord going to come and take a bite out of that apple. A big bite too. <laughs> Yeah. Like I say, uh, you see, um, like for example, he saw, he saw in that same spirit, the scriptures talk about where they say, we are impoverished, but what we shall rebuild. You understand? That's why they're locking away so much. Like they have the seed vault, that's why they have Fort Knox, which is a gold lock away, and that's the that bunkers. They have all these different places that created to be able to do with the impact of, of, um, of, 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 of nuclear destruction. Why? Because they think after all this finish, which they, which is which is their agenda in the first place to usher in these things because they have to cut down the population number. You understand? And also um instill certain other things like the CHIP. All of these things they go and use to be able to to, found, to set that, that foundation in order. And they do all these things thinking to themselves that after they will be able to to, to rebuild. You understand? Not on this, not knowing that. The prophecy of Daniel 2 must be fulfilled. But our rock must come and smite the feet. You understand? And then grow as a pillar. And then grow and, and then um, stand forever. But that will the Lord will and come and intervene in their plan. Okay? Uh, Please, okay. The book of Malachi, the back of where saying, chapter 1, verse 4, it says, Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, 
and they shall call them the board of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord had had indignation forever. Because if you read, if you, if you read any book of Revelation, it said they would try to make war with the Lamb. Because he's also, now he knew it within himself that the Lord exists, that Yahushua is coming back, that the chariots, the UFOs is the chariots of the Lord. He, he knows what coming. The scripture said the devil knew it. He had but a short time. Yeah. But the spirit that the Lord put in his soul is, is, is pride. The same way with, with Pharaoh, right? It, it, it came points where Pharaoh saying, let, let, let them go, right? Pharaoh had enough, but the Lord continued to put our spirit within him, continued to harden his heart so that he could show how, how, how glorious he is, right? So in these last days now, the most I gonna harden Esau's heart and amplify that prideful spirit. That is why, so he even, even in the face of all defeat, right, he outnumbered, you know, all the chariots just in the skies, Yahushua there, right, that power, the earth, the earth is shaking. With, with that kind of power, you understand? This guy is tapped. He's still, he's still gonna try to fight against that, right? With with the, with whatever weaponry he will have at the time, he's gonna still try to fight against Yahushai. and he's gonna be defeated, right? And the reason the Lord doing that is to show his power, you know. And about um, still like about precept in Isaiah chapter thirty one, which one it say, "Woe to them." that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Right? So all these people have, they go down to Egypt for help, right? And which is America today, whether it be for health, for, for safety, protection, for, in want of all things, they go to the, to the system and the trust in the system's military might. So all these people, hey, even when they see all the UFOs and, and these things in the sky, who do you think they're going to look to for protection? They're going to look to, to the, the military. You understand? They're going to look to the militaries to protect them from, from this um from this threat. Right? But the Lord said destruction unto them that trust in Egypt because their, their, horses, are, their horses are flesh. That the scripture says not to be afraid of a mortal man that shall die because he saw in himself they are mortal. He so as a mortal man, he can't fight against beings that, that have no end. Yeah. You know? I don't know. That else like in that time, it's not going to have no Iron Man. It's Can't. not going to have no Hulk. It's not going to have no Captain America. Can't. Nobody going to come and save America. Nobody. <laughs> you understand? Can't. So, yeah, I say, you know, be, be, not a, be, be not afraid of the king of Babylon. You know, it's have more with us than it be with them. So you, I was bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. Uh, that's your life spirit, eh? It's really, uh, this second king six, I was start from, from 15, right? It say, um, and, and when the servant of the man of, of power was risen early and gone forth, behold, and horse come past the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Yeah, but that, that was that was Elisha's servant. You know, he was still green, so you know, his faith wasn't as high, right? You see, um, verse sixteen, they say, and he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. You see, and Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. You understand? Know Let's just say what the, the angels of the Lord encamped around there and that, that came. And them, they, you, Spiritual horses and chariots will destroy anything. <laughs> you understand? So when you watch when you watch these cars and these tanks and all these different things, those things are like nothing compared to the uh, the host of the most high. And it, it's not like the Lord needs, you know, uh, a multitude of men or a whole army, you know, to, to destroy, you know, a um, you know them. You know they are. Um, 
the second Maccabees 10 verse that of verse 29. He said, but when the battle waxed strong, there appeared unto the enemy from heaven five comely men upon horses with bridles of gold, and two of them led the Jews and wow. took Maccabeus betwixt them and covered him on every side weapons and kept him safe but wow. shot arrows and lightning against the enemy so that being confounded with blindness and full of trouble they were killed right so like if i guess it where you say when they are they are comes with militia the same thing that happened with them because the host that had come against them was blinded also yeah. you know so the yes. lord don't need that that host a few men a few men can do the job um, you know yeah. but hey the lord say we gonna he, go, he gonna leave his place it's fierce anger so so he all all come in they he fierce anger he bring it he bring it he bring in the host of heaven he bring in the wrath upon this place Right, and they they were they were they were coming to the wicked, for the ungodly, and and uh, for the un, uh, the scripture saying um in wisdom of Solomon for the ungodly and his ungodliness a boot alike, heedful unto our Bashem Yoshai. The Lord say, know all of them that sin against Him, and we gonna do, we gonna deliver, deliver them unto death and destruction. That were gonna be there. That were gonna be the wicked deliverance. Right, you know, as these are the, these are the camps, you know, you wanna you know you wanna give you know a, these are the nation part of we salvation. The salvation were coming for them, the deliverance were coming for them. Is these missiles? They were the that is, that is their deliverance. The missiles. You wanna you wanna give we pulls onto these swines that the white man could be seen. That the Chinese man could be seen, that the East Indians them could be seen. You know, and they say, show a hey, hey, hey Jakes, you know, he really under the curse. The Lord say, you know, he goes to go smite them with, with madness and blindness. You see the kind of thing with being Jake mind, we're coming out of Jake mouth. Foolishness, nonsense. The Lord they come for these people, the Lord they die for these people. Numerous are scriptures from the Old Testament to the New Testament. The Lord dealt with Israel only. We feel he's gonna change his mind to deal with these nations now. No, it all it was always with Israel. So shall it be in the beginning, and so shall it be in the end. Yeah. Um, I have I want to with the Master Solomon chapter 14, verse, verse 9. It says for the ungodly. And his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto Yahweh, but that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Therefore, wow. even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be, be a visitation, because in the creature of Yahweh they are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. Right? So he, he saw our words coming to him. You understand? All, all you people that, that push this, this wicked agenda. Yeah, you all you all have what's coming to you, and it's crazy because they will take down our videos and pull us off our different platforms for speaking the truth. Yet yeah, they would they, they would they would they would push, you know, the worship of Baal. They would push the LGBT. They would they would push atheism. They would push all manner of, of wickedness, right in the mainstream media, and then take and then take down. Imagine brothers, uh, they would take down our video. That only had like two, three views, you understand? They would pull along something like that, but a video with millions of views preaching LGBT alphabet community, they're keeping that up. You understand? They're pushing feminism or all these things, um, zoophilia, right? Where you believe you're an animal and you could have sexual intercourse with an animal and things. Push all these things. Push um pro pro choice, right? Abortion and all they, they push these things. But when it comes to the truth. They, 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 they try to hide it. So you ask ask yourself. Ask yourself why they don't want you to hear this word. Because this this yeah. is contrary to their kingdom. 
you know, that is that is it. Contrary to confusion, <laughs> but I would have won. I would have pulled Babylon. You have to face a confusion. Yeah, they they ain't want, they ain't want you to be. They ain't want you to 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 learn righteousness. They ain't want you to be, you know, a righteous man. No, this 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 kingdom, you know, he saw kingdom, you know, he. He ain't, he ain't set that, that part of uh, uh, righteousness because it, it's not in him. Yeah. Right? He ain't, going on, he ain't going on learn that. So he wasn't created for that. He was created to be wicked. Right? And they were a lot of our people, you know, they, you know, they, they put a trust in these so-called white man, you know, they, to, to look for help. You know that, you know, the white man going to support them, that the white man had a back. You know, and the things the white man do, you know, in the past, that he's not that same same person. He is the same person, right? When the scriptures talk about, you know, he prepares slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. They are the fathers. They are the fathers in reincarnation. So that's gonna be a for them, right? When you read um, Revelation nine, right? Then bring it out the Revelation nine. Revelation 9 verse when I'll start a verse, verse 20. You see, and the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of their works of their hands. So the so-called white man is sorry for we did to all you yeah? from saying slavery. And we people, you know, the light had this, 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 this model. Let bygones be bygones. You know, he, that was their ancestors did that. Now they're the white people, not so no more. The, 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 the good old white man, good uncle, uncle Sam, good now. Right? The Lord saying they repented not from their works, of their hands. They're still killing Jakes up until this day. They still had that same perpetual hatred. Right, he say that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. He said, neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, mm. nor of their. He will be revealed as an iconic so symbol of light. Ladies and gentlemen. Right, he ain't repent from these things, you know. But he ain't know that, you know. He, he have a great portion in that lake of fire that all the things you do deceiving deceiving the nations making all nations drink that wine a, a fornication you know it have a price to pay it have a price to pay for that for all the wickedness causing the you know the, you know the just to, 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 to go astray right it have it have a price to pay Right, so that scripture say when you read Revelation, he says sinners have reached unto heaven. He do so much, he uh, he cup overflow, it's overflowing with wickedness right now. And this with the Lord gonna yeah. pour it out on him. Yeah. And scripture says the Lord will, the Lord will hate him. Who is that him the Lord talking about? When you ask this Christian, who is that? They say the devil. Say, who is the devil? Not you know the fallen angels who see from what down. They don't have that understanding. That that devil is the same man who you who you're working for. That the devil. Same either might man. Same this ascendance I so that is the devil. Who the Lord about to destroy. Like I say, you see the brother we we not just know we say about creating idols. Anything else? You understand? Know, so? See, they, 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 they see those idols as like stumbling blocks unto men. And not only that, the scriptures say what in Revelation it say they say warn to him that put a bottle to his brother's head, you know, to, to make him become drunk. Mm -hmm. And that is what that is what Islam is doing. Yeah, 
so for that we so for that bottle and toss it down each other. Make sure you get, make sure you stagger, make sure you get drunk with this. You know, he saw him giving him the, the opportunity to choose him. No. He let you know a day the way it is. You know, they we have to do. It's not about your choice. Most, 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 most jigs believe what they believe comes this back in slavery and it's through even through childhood is when there was indoctrinated to these things. You understand? They they put a bottle to Jake Head since since from birth, growing up into these philosophies and, and teachings. And the older they get is the worse things become. You understand? Yeah, no, hey, Jake, Jake said they making the fire part, making the train pass through the fire amulet. Until this day, you know, same thing with, with, with you know, with them was indoctrinated from 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 slavery, you know, they days where you know it continued today, days in mental were continuing in today, wickedness, you know, and days where the so called white man are about wickedness, and days where you're gonna be destroyed, you know, a lot of people don't want to see the white man, they don't want to see the white man in slavery. But okay for their people to be in prison houses and in slavery. Jake's have no problem with that. Then. But when it comes to the so-called white man, these nations, they, they, they want to have pity for them. But them didn't have pity for you. They showed no mercy to you for your ancestors. You know? Ask me a second. It's a chapter four people's Eight, it says such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. Right? So, I mean, it, it explains itself. You understand? So, hey, these things will happen. Death and strife and all these things happen to the righteous. By the scripture saying wisdom of Solomon 3, it said they would they be punished in the sight of men. It is their hope full of immortality. So even though they, they die and they're going to go through all manner of pain, it's not going to be for their destruction, but it's going to be for their growth and they're going to be rewarded for it in the end. But for the, when these things come upon the wicked, it is for their destruction. They're, they're, that is their judgment for the things that they have done upon this earth. That's why it is sevenfold more upon sinners. Right? There's gonna be there's gonna be a punishment. The way how these the way how, how the Lord gonna deal with the wicked? Are we go, uh, it, it, it gonna be strange to see them kind of death, to see how how how, how the body gonna be in pieces. Uh, it's gonna be strange. Or you should just say that. And um we could get um Job Job um Job 31 verse that of the street. Job chapter 31 verse 3 is not destruction to the wicked and a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity. Yeah, strange punishment to the workers of iniquity. Yeah. Yeah. When they're going to see these beams, these lasers, chain them up. Public chariots. Just as they're going to be amazed to see the strangers of salvation. To see the same thing that's killing them. Same blast, same light that's gonna come out from these chariots. The same thing we're gonna take us up. That same light. But it's gonna hurt us. Right? They're gonna be amazed to see the strangers of our salvation. Wow. Right? As the scripture say, none shall go unpunished unto the grave. A lot of them feel that you know they die in this, they die in this present life, they escape judgment. That they do they do so much of wickedness here, but yeah, they die after they are peaceful death. That is a day. You know, they escape. No. They are gonna come back. They're gonna feel the wrath of your bash of your shy. They escape. You know, and they were blind chicks today too, you know. My grandfather he pork and he lived 99 years old. He do all kind of wickedness and he lived he had a long life. This is where it's confused, Jake. You know? To do the same manner, you know, are, are evil, you know. 
that you know hey, the ancestors do all kind of thing and all kind of homosexual act and them live a long life. But a man who trying to establish righteousness and doing good, he just die quick. And the brother now say that we now bring all the against the evil. Ah, you know it, 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 in the in the sight of the unwise, but those those be punishing the sight of men. Yeah, this is the full of immortality. What we say today, wisdom of Solomon chapter two, verse one, is said for the ungodly said, reasoning within with themselves, but not aright. Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. For we are born at all adventure, and we shall be here after as though we had never been. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and as a spark in the movement of our heart, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as a soft air. And our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance and our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. I jump to verse 6. Is it come on their fourth? Let us enjoy the good things that are present and let us speedily use the creatures like as in you. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring pass by us. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion and our lot is this. Let us oppress the poor righteous man let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Right? It goes on to say, verse 12, Therefore let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn, and he is clean, contrary to our doings. He, up, he upbraided us with our offending the law, and objected to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. So basically, this is how the righteous, Salaka, this is how the unrighteous does live. You know, it have a term known as um, YOLO. You only live once. So they're gonna pack in as much wickedness as they, as they could possibly do in one lifetime. And then, you know, they live a, a long life or they live an easy life and then they die. And they say, well, you see, you understand, look, nothing happened to me, right? And I do everything you say not to do. But our scripture will say, um, after they, basically after they die. It's it's a drug. After death shall judgment come when you can live a deed. Can. So they, they, and you know, as, as you were saying, the wicked, shall not go unpunished unto their grave. You will pay for the things that you do, whether I be in this life or the next. So I and to, even in the last days, eh, not, not every either might gonna be destroyed by the nukes. Some of them gonna be preserved. But don't think because they get preserved from the destruction of the, of the the nukes that they know all is well. They just gonna go into slavery. So you're gonna receive I and that slavery gonna be excruciating. You understand? A rod of iron is gonna be excruciating, so you can't really escape from the judgments of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, no matter how you slice it. The work of the Lord is so perfect and in balance. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord, you know, He ain't gonna destroy all of them. No, come like He's gonna preserve a little remnant of them, you know? because Scripture right. says that children be multiplied as to the sword. Right. They gonna have breeding farms. The, the hatter multiply. For slavery, they gotta prepare for slavery, prepare for destruction. You know, and that one I, I read in the um in the Revelation um nine. These are the men who would who would not kill by the, the, the plagues. Because they, they guess what they they in hell, they in the bunkers. But the scripture says in Jeremiah 16, verse 16, the Lord gonna get them out. The Lord gonna send the you know the hunters for them, and they're gonna Come after the in chains, they're gonna be in chains. Same thing why you had that yoke, them yokes and thing around with neck. Right? All you're gonna get back them yokes, them dog chain. Because all you had the dogs, all you got the two dogs. You know? Yeah. Anything else? I'll be there. If I can say based on what the brother just said us now, right? Go ahead. When the brother, you talk about those who live long. It's like what you are saying too. You live long, you do wickedness, and nothing can happen. And really and truly, that by itself is a stumbling block unto others. It's like you see these women out here. who just be doing wickedness and going from man to man, and you see nothing bad do happen to them. And other women, they see them doing it and think that because they get away with it, 
you know, they could do the same thing and get away with it too. So even that is be a stumbling block onto others. Where you see an next man doing wickedness and nothing in before him, that way that could now encourage other people to do wickedness. That why you see in the past, when a man do something wicked, we should bring him before the congregation and stone him in front of everybody. You understand? And that will discourage everybody from that point to never do that again. You understand? Um so our precept. There's um wisdom of Solomon tree. I'll start from ten, right? Wisdom of Solomon tree from verse ten. It say, "But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord." They say, "For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain." They say their labors unfruitful and their works unprofitable they say their wives are foolish and their children wicked their offspring is cursed um they say wherefore blessed is the barren that is undefiled which had not known the sinful bed it says she shall have fruit in the visitation of souls they say, I'm blessed is the, the eunuch. They say, which with the, the hands have wrought no iniquity, nor imagine wicked things against Yahweh, about Shemuel Shai, for unto him shall be given a special gift of faith. Right? And, and that, that are very fruitfully righteous, the ones who actually hasten these things. They say, an, an inheritance in the temple of the Lord more acceptable um to his mind they say for glorious is the fruit of good labors and the root of wisdom shall never fall away as for the children of adulterers as i was talking about earlier they shall not come to their perfection and the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out for though they live long yet shall they be nothing regarded and their last age shall be without honor or if they die quickly they have no hope need a comfort in the day of trial so if anybody else talking about for them who do wickedness for a long period of time sometimes you'll see someone doing wickedness and they'll live long and sometimes you'll see them do wickedness and you know some kind of past judgment will befall them and they will get cut off but no matter which bracket they fall into, it's not going to be well for them. In the eyes of your Abash and Yosha, it's really untrue. Right? Only, only, only reducing righteousness and doing what pleasing to the Lord have its rewards. Yeah. Right. A quick precept here. Mm -hmm. uh, there is wisdom of Solomon 4, start at verse 5. He said that in perfect branches, shall be broken off their fruit unprofitable not right to eat their meat for nothing yeah. right now this will show you know the lord say you know let the multitude perish which were born you know in in vain you know and you know as scripture say you know a sentence you know against our evil work is not executed speedily you know back then you know your holy lord you know when you're you, you, you breathing the commandments we commit adultery you know you will bring be brought forth, you know, to the congregation, you know, and, and be put to death, you know, and days of the Lord, you know, does remove evil, you know, from Israel, you know, so when they see that, you know, wicked, you know, he dying, you know, he, it is encouraged them, you know, to do evil, you know, but not knowing that, hey, you can reserve for something. But set the cops up, uh, come like the Lord, the Lord setting them up, because they can do more wickedness, because they can, as, as, as the brother saying, they can say, well, they see, look, he doing adultery. Look, he worshiping this. Look, he worshiping that. Look, he eating pork. He don't really deliver no Bible thing, right? So let me live just like he. Because from what I see, wickedness is bringing profit to this man or to this woman. You understand? This, this, who, this homosexual ever have wealth, this, he's a rich man. And here it is, I try to do the right thing. And I have nothing. So it, let, me, let me go and do what he's doing. And they, they realize it. The Lord just making them do more wickedness and more wickedness and more wickedness. So when the last come, that judgment going on, that going to be a 
terrible judgment. But they're going to get they're going to get rewarded for all these sins in one fell swoop. You understand? That going to be a terrible judgment. And uh, so, so, of unlawful beds a witness of wickedness against their parents in their trial. He said, But though the righteous be prevented with death, yet shall he be in rest. For honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, nor, nor that is measured by numbers of years. You know, when you look at these prophets and them, they may, they may live till the to, to same you. you know, a Paul and, you know, a Peter and all these, these men return empty. Right? But there was, hey, so it doesn't matter, you know, in the length of my day, whether you're 99 or rich, whoever, you know, you die in your 30s, whoever, hey, what if you hear about bash from your shy? You know, hey, you will be count worthy or not. Right, that's why you say for honorable age is not that which standeth in the length of times, nor the measures of numbers of years. Right? That's why you know Apostle Paul say, you know, he no was laid up for him. That crown of righteousness, he did the work. You know, he fear your basha mercy and hope. You know, and they go two thirds of people do have today, they do have hope. You know, that are, you know, that one life to live. You know, yeah. live it to the best. And to their best is wickedness. Eh? That, is, that is Jake best in eh? it. Evil. Eh? That is what they just do. Because we know eh, Jake, Jake is the former of all things. Right? Everything Jake put your hand in to do, he just try to, to do it to his best abilities. Even in wickedness, Jake does do it to the best abilities. Right? So them don't have no hope. That is why they're gonna fall. That is why they move like that. They, they, you know, they do hope that it have something after this, right? They ain't in that mindset. All this hell we facing, this can be Israel end. If the if this world created for for Jake see for Israel see, you know, and we in this low state suffering, then. Where's we, where's we little chance to rule and, you know, it had to lift it up too, right? So like, yeah, I remember I was talking to Drake, I asked him, I say, if you really, if you accept this reality, you know, so I said, I said, do you really accept this life? I say, you really good with this? You know, so you really have no problem living on this earth the way it is not to change. Do you really accept this as life? This, this, this can be life as a person. God does say we're not living, we're existing. But this is this is not they not life they they is our hell they is hell we living in you understand you look up the definition of the word Eden Eden means paradise but this life is complete opposite they not no paradise you in right now they in hell so for Jake to accept to accept this reality it really shows how destroyed they are. Mm -hmm. about this okay. Based on what the brother was talking about just now, now we talk about those who um who like to watch what others have and see that they're doing good and you know be envious towards them. So this um the Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11, right? They say, Envy not the glory of the sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. They say, Delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember that they shall not go unpunished unto their grave. You understand? So all these people are doing these things. They're not going to get away with it. And that's something I even tell myself. If somebody do me something bad in the world, I'm like, you know what? You're not going to get away with that. So <laughs> you you enjoy yourself for now. That, that's, that'd be my statement. You just enjoy yourself because at some point, I might not see it, but you're going and get back. You're going and get back. You're not going and get away. And there's, a, there's a reason why the Lord you know, there's a reason why the Lord say you know he delight not in the things the ungodly take pleasures in. Um, right? Look at the things from, from back then. The Lord did unto the ungodly. You know? But then Jake minds, you know, and 
you know, hey, you smoke all right, man. We really, you know, hey, brainwash Jake's. You know, he not afraid, not afraid of the Lord. You know, rather fear he. Only fear the so-called white man. Don't fear the Lord. Right? Because what do you think? The Lord destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord destroy the Egyptian. All these things. Right? And guess what? You all do fear. You all declare all your sins as Sodom. You know? But when the Lord say, all they shall not go unpunished. Right? The Lord then leaves Sodom and Gomorrah undone. No. He didn't lead them to continue to end the wickedness. No, he destroyed them. So all this will take notes. You know, hey. Not to live like all these people was living back then. You know, but he God at this world, the so-called white man, he blind Jakes. So Jakes do have a fear for the power. And this is why they're going to be destroyed for that lack of knowledge. They hate knowledge. They reject it. The true knowledge, they reject it. Right? They rather, you know, eat the continue to eat the fruit of life. They prefer to hear that. They prefer to, you know, eat to eat that. Than this truth. The real truth. They want no part of that. And this is why they're going to be destroyed. But they're going to know it in the end. They will see it in the end. You know? Oh. Anything again? No, that's a problem. Right? It was off. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, that's just a, a video we do showing you know, the idol worship. You see it in plain sight. And even though you might not see much Jakes in the crowd in the video that we show, Jakes has been taking part in these same things. Sometimes just like that or in different in different variations. And that's something all people always have a problem with. And the time going to come with that problem going to be cut off. Along with the majority of our people. Right? And with that, we'd like to give our praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Double honors to the apostles, and others of great mercy to have well. Peace and blessing to the acrimony world that pushed this through to the four corners of the earth. Right? Shalom, stay strong. Shalom.